Got me fucked up, man. Fucked up. Hello. Welcome to March PMS. So, yeah. Month of March, nothing much happened again because my life's boring. This is a great series, isn't it? It's just lots of montages of me doing nothing. <laughs> I went to John Curtin and I went to go see their production, their little novel adaptation, play adaptation of the novel Brave New World by Aldous Huxley and oh my god, honestly it's one of my favourite books ever. Like initially I hated it because I couldn't understand anything that was happening but I grew to like it and it's a very good piece and it's like my ride or die in terms of what I use when I write my essays and exams because Ooh, top notch, top notch stuff. We came in and they gave us 3D glasses and I was like, whoa. Shit's getting fucking real out in here. And then before we went there, we went to go eat San Churros and we got a freaking fiesta, right? Because we're like, oh, we've been craving this for ages. Huge mistake. It was the biggest mistake ever. Because we got there. Well, first of all, my friend was late. 40 minutes. 40 minutes. And so like I had a whole itinerary planned out. I was gonna go get the bus at this time, we go on, we have like this much time to spare. Thank God, thank God I put like a league where I have like an hour to spare. So like we managed to get things done on time. But we had to eat our freaking fiesta and then afterwards we had to run back to the bus stop and catch the bus. We didn't just manage to get on the bus, so like <sighs> Call me you saying bold because god we made it yeah and then this month was my freaking exams i just finished my exams tuesday i finished it on tuesday and oh my god like it was it was hectic because most of the people all my friends and stuff they had their exams spaced out so they'd be like one day this little break the next day the next day they had their exams mine was boom 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 and i was like oh i was exhausted and then I've been, for the last few days, I've been sleeping until like 2 because I deserve that. I deserve that after sleeping in the morning at 2, studying my exams. So, you know, I think I deserve a little something. Oh my god, I've got so much shit all around my room because you know what? I lost my smart writer. I have got to go to uni tomorrow. Oh, I'm zooming in the wrong way. I am, can my music stop? I am gonna go into uni tomorrow. Well, not be, not like actually go to study in uni, but like I'm going to a seminar tomorrow and I've lost my smart writer. I need that because I'm not gonna be that one loser who gets on and be like, hello, can I get um, a ticket please? And then the guy's just like, that'll be $4 and a half. And I'll be like, I'm sorry, can I just, oh, I'm sorry, not too many coins. I'm trying to get rid of my coins. And he'll be just standing there and everybody's just like beep tapping on with their efficient smart riders. And I'm just like, sorry, I've just got a lot of coins. And I'm just like, and then I drop them. I have to pick them up. And I'm just like, sorry. <laughs> and he gets his shit every single day. And I'm just like, I'm so sorry. I'm an idiot. And anyways, that's that. I'm going to pack my bag because I'm after my seminar, I'm going to go to the library and study for the whole day because my exams are in two weeks. And I haven't done any study so <sighs> Anyways. Yes, today is Mar May, ooh, wrong month, May 11th. Um, oh, I went to go to the theatres yesterday, I watched Summer and the 17th Doll. Yeah, I went to go see it, it was interesting, it was very dialogue based and I was like, okay. Um, I'm going to go to a history seminar and I'm going to take obviously my history books and stuff. I'm probably going to do a little bit of mouse because I'm very behind because I don't know how to add. I don't know how to add, that's the thing. Um, probably going to work on some of my English and then head home. I don't know what time. I've got to wake up at like 7. 7 o'clock, I've got to wake up then. Because initially I was going to go at 8, but apparently I have to get there before 9. Not on nine o'clock so yay for me and um i went to is that all i did 
after I came home from my exams, I was just like, let's just take it, chill, have a nice relaxing day. And so I made myself some pho and, um, well I didn't make it, make it, but like, you know, I made it, you know, like I didn't make the broth and everything. I like made a serving for myself, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but yeah, it was just, um, really relaxing taking time off these last few days and it's just nice to just be in bed and watch shows I've been watching The Office I finished the K2 oh my god it's so good okay hold up hold up well I shook off the tripod The K2 is one of the best K dramas I've ever watched it's up there like next to W and probably Goblin yeah it's it's a really good drama like whew. Can I just say that Choi Yoo Jin, she absolutely loved Jaehaa, right? And I feel like she sees him as a son that she never had, but like she doesn't know how to like treat people nicely because she's so used to having this mindset of being like, oh, everybody worship me. And like she unintentionally wanted to make him his slave and like, but she also wanted his greater good to be, you know, the best for him. So, you know, he was like, okay, you know what, if I don't do it, then I'll die, all right? And then like, she was like, okay, I agree with it then. And if you like, you know, succeed, then the other person dies. And he was like, done deal. And then he knew he wasn't gonna like complete the mission. So he was gonna be ending up to be dead by the hands of her. But she was like, she changed her heart. She was just like, you know, I don't care what happens just come back safe i don't care if you done killed the man or not i'm just like oh my god she loves me so much i'm just <sighs> got me fucked up man fucked up oh yeah my freaking dpr hoodie came <laughs> might put that in i don't know like the the background noise was really bad, so I don't know if I'll put it in, but... DPR we gang gang, rep it every day, eh? I ain't feeling them fakes, they don't need to say, eh? DPR we gang gang, DPR we gang gang, DPR we gang gang, DPR we gang gang. So this finally came, I'm actually so excited. I spent a lot of money on this and I'm not proud to tell you how much I spent. Oh my god, can you guys see that? It's here, it's here, it's tangible, it's in my head. I'm gonna keep the bag because I paid good money for this. I want to keep every single piece of it. First of all, this cost me a lot of money. Second of all, it is absolutely worth every cent and I don't care if I go into retirement with no money because of this and I will continue selling all my organs to buy every piece of DPR. It's very heavy, it's thick, so it will keep me warm. Plus, the aglets, this is what you call the hard bits at the end of the strings, right? These are actually made of like solid what do you call them? I mean, I know they're plastic, but they're not like the cheap plastic. You know how like on your shoelaces, they have like the really cheap ones and you just like peel them off or like they'll fall off after you wear them like three times. These are like literally really secure. Like they make a really cute noise. Like listen, that's so cute. And the attention to detail is amazing. So there is a tag here behind and it says DPR. And I feel like me getting this jumper today is like the highlight of this month. It's the 21st of May, so like it is the highlight of this month. Story time. So I was literally counting down for this thing to be dropped out, right? And so the first thing, as soon as the release date, right? It was when the bell went to go. When the bell went, it was literally when it dropped. I rushed to the toilet, I sat in there, I was refreshing the freaking page because we're not allowed to be on our phones except in the senior school squad 
but that's like all the way across the country. So I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna hide in the toilet, I'm gonna order this. It took forever because everybody was flooding into the site. And then I decided to, you know what, it doesn't matter. Everybody's rushing, I'll give it a few minutes. So you know, I go and make my way to the quad, pull out my laptop, got my phone ready. My friend comes on, she pulls out her phone, and she pulls out her laptop, and then my other friend comes, and he's on his phone. So we have like five devices trying to jump on and buy this merch. Absolutely impossible. It took like nearly an hour and a half to buy it, but I got it. And yes. Go support DPR. Like, hello. Um, <clears throat> I don't know what the day is. Let me go find out what the date is. 31st of May. Um, um, right now I decided to have a big clean out of my freaking wardrobe. So this is the situation right now. It's a mess. So I'm gonna like clean that up, clean all this folded clothes here, clean all of those, um, maybe dabble into that. None of this is my stuff by the way, it's just like stuff that we don't wear anymore but it looks kind of messy so I just want to clean everything up. I want to do something productive today. And yeah, so let's let's just enjoy that. <laughs> y'all buy fluffy socks they're the best things in humanity they're like soft and fluffy and warm and fluffy <laughs> thank you for coming to my ted talk <laughs> my head hurts i hate talking so much i'm just yeah thank you for watching my video um give it a little like share it with your friends leave a comment i love reading comments i have like two comments in like every video but i love reading them all right even though they're like for my friends i love reading them right just leave a comment whatever it is send me send me a link to your instagram or something i'll like them i don't know i'm gonna see if i have any songs to recommend i don't have anything okay thank you so much for watching and goodbye take care have fun um say hi to your dog for me and bye bye